Woods and aiming at me. Yes. It's like here. That's I'm gonna show the car too. All right. Hey, welcome to Uzulu channel today. Today's video is gonna be on about two products today. 3D speed here. With against Auto Fanatics secret weapon. And granted, we already have vehicle uh videos on testing out products on this. Right here we did uh turtle wax. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this section right here half and half one's going to be auto fanatics the other half is going to be 3d speed and then what we're going to do also i'm going to clean it up i got wolfgang's wristless wash in here and we're going to clean this now granted it's not going to be the best cleaning job ever you know what i mean like you're going to do with your normal vehicle we're just testing products out and we'll improve every time we come out here i'm going to wash it with this and then we'll spray it down with some alcohol and water mixture 50 50. And then plus two on this video we're going to be testing out the all new Adams polish cordless polisher right here check it out pick this up on the Amazon so it's gonna be the first time using this also so it's gonna be basically a three videos in one right here see how good this does and how good these products do on a 75 Ford LTD granted we already tested out on this okay hey. hang on yeah we're good I keep foamer. This is uh, basically wet. Look at that, what it picks up. We'll improve each time we come out here. We'll let that flash, and then we're gonna spray it down with some alcohol. Check that out. Today, too, it's the end of December. We got lucky, it's 50 degrees the day before New, uh, Christmas Eve. Today's a Monday, the 23rd. All right, we're gonna do some I mean, granted, the best way to do it, you're going to want a clay bar using eye remover, stuff like that. Today, we're just testing out like this. In the future, next year, we're going to do stuff like that. I just have to, you know, get a few more uh, products to uh, be able to do that. Because out here, you got to bring your own water. There's no electricity hookup. I mean, I, I bought, we end up buying that cordless polisher um, right after, um, our little bit after the video we done on this. And um, it went on sale at Amazon for like 227 and I snatched it up. I've been getting a lot of overtime, so that helped. All right, let's let that flash and then we'll uh, we'll test these products out. All right, check it out, I brought my light today. Let's look at it a little bit. You can see how trashed this paint is. It's got some rust spots too, sticking out. This is a great way to me to test out a product. See what kind of improvement it can do on this salvage yard detailing. Well, salvage yard car also. So we're calling it several jars detailing and see what it can do and this is you know you can prep it better and we'll see what kind of results we got so right, here's that turtle wax not the last time okay 3d speed first right here this section i didn't bring any tape so what i'll do is i'll go to this line here from the turtle wax last time and then the rest we'll do the auto fanatics right here just put some on here put a little bit more this paint's really dry and it's going to soak it up first time using this so we'll see how it does it this has this adams polish cordless has one speed on it that i noticed all right i'm glad it warmed up to uh try this out ready Granted, it's single stage paint and plus two for we, you know, did an eye remover and clay blarred it. I'm sure I wouldn't have picked up that much stuff. It'd be close. But check that out. Look at the results from this cordless polisher. Look at that. I want to show the. That looks pretty good.
Look at the results. That is awesome. D speed. This is basically an all-in-one polish and and protectant has some wax in it. Granted, a lot of times we don't, you know, you're not supposed to wipe your hands out for scratches, but for testing purposes, yeah, that's smooth. Now, just imagine we clay barred it, iron axed it, did a tire remover, how, what a better results we got. And we'll do that in the future down in here. That's good. Now, this 3D speed is a true one step. You're basically going to get a polish and you're going to protect, get a protectant. And this is a, something that already has a wax in it, something like the, um, just like the Auto Fanatics right here. And this is very popular for mobile detailers. They're using this all the time for the, this is the results that they're going to get. This product is basically removes scratches, roll marks, and puts a Montan wax protection on here. And basically, you're going to want to use a few drops and then go by a two by two section, crisscross something like how we did. I mean, this right here product is anyone wanting to know if a 3D speed will work on old paint from single stage right here. Almost like a lacquer. This from 1975. Look what it did to it, this old paint. You put some good life back into it. All right, we're going to get set up and we're going to do the auto fanatics and see what the results we get from that. Okay, I didn't bring my pad brush, but this is one way you can get some of it clean. I got some of it done. It's one way to get some of your that stuff off your pad. Look at that. From before. We can still go a little bit. I'll talk about it. Now, Auto fan, Fanatic, basically a one step too. Also, this could be used uh, for, this will take place of a clay bar, which we have videos on it. And plus two at the end leak, we'll have videos on, on using Auto Fanatic one step. Great product, really happy about this product. And it does basically the same thing. This is great and you can use this on if you have ceramic coatings, you have any water spots like that. This will go on there and plus this has a wax in it and it will not uh, strip whatever coating you have or wax or sealant and you'll still have protection on it but it takes off that uh, mars on your vehicles you get any paint and plus two this will take off tar um, also and then when i get situation like that I, I can do more videos on stuff like that so we we'll, let's see what how what it does to this new pad ready mm -hmm. i'm gonna spread it out I wish I brought some tape, but here's the line. I left some here, so you know. There you go. It's not the perfect box, but there you go. Check out the results. What do you think? Alright. It's pretty close. Alright, check that out, guys. Tell me what you think. They look pretty close from what I'm seeing. You can see the camera. Okay, smooth, it smells pretty good. Same thing here. I mean, I could probably feel a little bit of spots. It, it does need clay bar, you can really feel it. Here's a little bit, not much, yeah. They look pretty close, man, for gloss and everything. Yeah, they're pretty close. Let's get the light on it and see. Auto Fanatic. I don't think I can see that. It's sunny out. Moving around. Go down here to 3D, 3D speed. Go look again. Yeah, guys, it's it's a close call. It really is. Okay, happens. nothing cleaned. No, nothing. 
Yeah. Look at the difference. That's pretty good. Better than F11. All right, let's see. Let's see how fast they go. 3D speed. Auto it's fanatics faster, angle. but it, yeah, it's more angle. Let's see. Yeah, it's more of an angle. All right, check that out. All right, so right there, the results on this both to me work great, actually. Um, they're pretty close. So I'm looking from right here in this area. I go, I think, I think Auto Fanatics giving it a, a little bit more of a shine, like a little bit more of a gloss right here. If you can see here compared to in here, just a little bit. It's pretty close. I don't have a gloss meter. This would be perfect to uh, have one. Maybe eventually we'll be able to buy one. But that's the results on here. Two great products. Basically, there's no uh, loser in this one, in my opinion. Yeah, you can't uh, go wrong with either one. Plus two, you're going to get better results doing a better prep. All right, we, we wanted to test it where you do a half prep, basically, kind of, and then show some you know, results on it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's nice. Real quick, too, so don't leave. We're going to try them out with hand, by hand. We'll do 3D speed here. And we already did. We'll do it again with the uh, Auto Fanatic right here by hand and see how, how well we do. And plus two, first time here, we do auto show videos, car show videos, test products out like this, uh, auto repair, something you like to join, join our channel. You know, comment below if you ever used any of these products or you plan on using them. Yeah, if you got any tips on anything, let us know below. Yeah, that's what the channel's about. Okay, 3D speed by hand. Right here, right in front of it. This thing's to be shining if we keep coming out here to the junkyard, putting some pressure down. Do a little spot right there. Seems like the 3D speed gives you pretty good work time too. Check that out. That works pretty decent by hand, actually. Look at that. By hand. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's do auto fanatics. By hand, we already done this by hand, but for this video, we'll do it again. Do it right here. Well, now we did wash this section with the wolf gain again. Man, they're pretty close on gloss in a way the product's working. But I think. I think the Auto Fanatic is more of an all around for different stuff. For like tar, water spots. I'm sure you can try out 3D speed and water spots. If you guys ever have, use um, 3D speed for wa just water spots, let us know. There's the results. Check that out. That's pretty close. All right. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for my new subscribers, old subscribers. And don't forget, I'll, on the end link, I'll have uh, some uh, end links that you can check out this product here that we already used. I tested on this. And on, uh, on, we put it on our my son's F-150 2004. Did a great job. And then this is the first time, basically. I used this before on, a, on a, my nephew's vehicle, but this is the first time testing it out here. Um, one of our subscribers, Big Old Dog, a while ago asked to, on this video, as to compare these two so i hopefully this will help him oh yeah so right there so we got that done for him and uh you guys have any suggestions or whatever any uh maybe you guys have a better idea of stuff how we can test here let us know and uh with it getting uh winter kind of it's going to be hard to get here we'll get here when we can when it warms up like today today we got lucky december 23rd it's 50 degrees it's beautiful out. all right guys have a great one oh yeah